Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everybody. So, we are about halfway through Recipe for Turnabout now. The part free investigation. Marty's yeah. looking forward to this. Oh, man. Let's... Feels good. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh, Charlie the plant! January 7th, 1252 p.m., Wright and Company Law Offices. So, how do you think the trial went this morning? How do you think it went? I got it. it got a bit crazy in there. I just wonder if that killed our chances. Yeah, I guess it did get out of hand. Mr. Kudo's testimony did nothing to help us. Plus, now we don't even know the identity of the waitress who laced the coffee. All we know is what old Mr. Kudo saw. The apron, straps, and the ribbon. And that the victim was wearing an earpiece when his eardrum was ruptured. Which is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> Talk about a terrifying case of contradictionitis. Time to play doctor and find ourselves a cure then, huh? Yeah! We've got to find one for Maggie or she's going to have a terminal case of guilty! Do, 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 do. Love this music. But what do we do? Well, I'm officially at a loss as to where to start. Yeah, me too. Let's try some brainstorming. You go first. I guess we should try to put Mr. Kudo's testimony to some sort of use. Yeah, that's true. And we need to figure out the identity of the waitress and who the victim really was. Somehow, I think the key to this case has got to be at the Trabion. Well then, let's go back to there and check it out again. Oh, and we should drop in on Maggie and see how she's doing too. <laughs> no worries, we have to go through the detention center to get to Trabion. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like, Trabion is actually in the detention center. It's like, uh-huh, yeah, alright, you can go to the restaurant. <laughs> Nobody's coming to the restaurant, I don't know why. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> so, anything on your mind? Actually, there is something. I was wondering about Xeniope, you know, like what he's like and stuff. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that guy. I had to beat you so hard, it'll feel like you was with the express train! Phoenix Wright? You were saying you, Phoenix Wright? Cause I'm Phoenix Wright, the one and only! Cause <laughs> I'm Phoenix Wright. Actually, I've learned a little something about my doppelganger. Huh? You did? What did you find out? Oh yeah, Maya was working at the restaurant when I ran into Don Fione. Let's just say he was such a terrible version of Maya that I wanted to sue for defamation. What's that guy's story anyway? What does he have to gain by impersonating me? Uh, maybe he's weird. <laughs> well, we already know that. Maybe he's high. <laughs> Maybe he's orange. Like, literally orange. orange. January 7th, police station, criminal affairs department. Looks like Gumshoe's not here. Never mind that. What's going on? It feels different in here somehow. You think? Yeah, everyone seems to be on edge. What are you doing? Call the officers for the briefing, quick! Can't you shut down the station server? Chief, quit playing on the internet! But my email pen pal, the Vita is a princess! Save it for later, I'm turning it off now! No! Vita is a princess! Everyone's keeping busy in here, huh? Keeping busy? More like panicking if you ask me. Something's going on. Something big. Well, let's just look at everybody. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He looks lost now that the power to his computer has been cut. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to write her a real letter instead of an email. Alternately, you could write up some reports. Just a suggestion. <laughs> Dear Lita as a princess, how are you? I'm okay. How was the show last night? Wow, what an awesome job! Maybe I should send in my resume and become chief. <laughs> that must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Even pickpockets can have their pockets picked. That's a keeper! Better go with something that doesn't sound too much like a slogan. He must be coming up with slogans for a crime prevention campaign. But I'm not sure even he knows what kind of a crime he's trying to prevent. <laughs> well, 
Bye bye, police. <laughs> bye, chief. Good luck with Leet as a princess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> January 7th, detention center visitor's room. I guess Ma <laughs> I guess Maggie's still in questioning. But but we've got questions to ask her too. Maggie! Maggie! Keep it down, Maya! This isn't a playground, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile the dude's just like <sighs> Whatever. Hi, oh boy. Travion. The pink place. Empty as usual. Yeah, and it's lunchtime too. That's it! Come on, come on, come on! Hey, that sounds like no, just call an eight, pal! Come on, I know you can! He's getting really worked up about something. No! That's the wrong number! Ah! Looks like an eight would have only netted me five bucks anyway. What a ripoff! What's the problem, Detective Gumshoe? Huh? Oh, it's you. I, uh, I was, uh, <laughs> I was just, <laughs> I was just listening to the radio, pal. To the radio? Hey, Detective Gumshoe's having lunch here! He is! And he's having the twin tea set. <laughs> what can I say? Why does everybody want to look at their lottery numbers and eat lunch there? There's plenty- <laughs> Like, I bet if you go down the street, you could find a Chinese buffet that has, like, all the TVs, like, what number is gonna appear next? Woo! Under you know, the B? Seven. Seven. Yeah. No, you know how there's- Whenever you go to, like, a- Not a pub, but, like, a- the bar area. The bar area. It's like there's a TV screen full of numbers, and then there's a weird thing. Like maybe it's a golf ball that's like, yep, and yep. it like smashes. At all the of like the bar and grills. Have yeah, those, yeah, bar and grill. That's what I'm thinking of. Not a pub. They, it would be a pub in the U in, in Europe. The UK. Yeah. Well, there are also pubs here, but there it's usually there if it is, it's like Irish pub. Yeah. It's because to be authentic, this is yeah. a nightmare. How am I supposed to look Maggie in the eye now, pal? Why? You really drove her into a corner, you know. You always blow apart my testimony! Why, of all days, didn't you do it today? S sorry there just weren't any holes in it. For once! Yeah, what happened? Usually your testimonies are like Swiss cheese! S Swiss cheese? Would he have preferred crumbly, like, aged Parmesan? <laughs> anyway, this case has already been ruled on. There shouldn't be any holes left to find. So, did Maggie say anything to you? About me, I mean. Well, um... How did she put it again? I can't believe Detective Gumshoe! I hate him, sir! I mean it! I don't ever want to see him again! I don't know what that voice was, but it's fine. Something like that. <laughs> Why would you tell him that? But please, Detective Gumshoe, I didn't mean- Why? Why is this happening? He He's banging his head against the wall, Nick! Oh man, poor Gumshoe. Will you have any brain cells left after that? So, uh, how did you like the twin tea set? I've never paid that much money for lunch before. It, I was so nervous my hands were shaking. So, how did it taste? Well, for 20 bucks, I guess, I don't know how to describe it really. It was delicate. Delicate? You mean, you liked it? It didn't taste bad to you? What's the matter with him? Looks like he's thinking. That's it! I've been trying to think of the right word to describe the taste. It, I just got it right now. Bad! That's it. <laughs> it tasted bad. <sighs> it's kind of hard to admit it to yourself when you pay 20 bucks though, pal. See, I was expecting him to be like, No, it was fine! And then it's just like, um, the Travion chef's like, do 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 gonna give the bad food to Phoenix Wright! <laughs> like, just like, just purposely, like, not cooking his lobster or whatever. Oh. Not that your lobster's alive on your plate, but, like, it's just undercooked, and then his, yeah. his is just fine. That would be an interesting theory. That would theory. be funny. Maybe he should have found out about the price after he had finished eating. Maybe that's why Glenn Elg came here. Maybe he heard about the famous twin tea set! Glenn Elg, the victim, huh? Which reminds me, we still hardly know anything about the guy. Why don't we ask Gumshoe what he knows, seeing as he's here? Okay. Hi. So, what were you all excited about earlier? Huh? That's right, you said you were listening to the radio or something. Oh, that, uh, that was nothing. I, I wasn't excited. Come on, Detective Gumshoe, you can tell little old me. What were you listening to? N nothing, really. It was just the, um, daily exercise show. Number eight. 
Is it gonna have like a oh just one? Okay, I was like, it's gonna be like <laughs> what ten. the a cyclock? <laughs> mm, this one special's lobster is great. No, it's not. <laughs> then why are there tears in your eyes? Okay, I uh, I'm wondering why so many people are like, I'm gonna look at my lottery lum num lottery lumbers lottery numbers in this restaurant. If that's the case, can we break it? I, we're gonna try, I guess. <laughs> you already figured it out. <laughs> Uh, did I? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the radio. All right, Detective Gumshoe. Tell me the truth. What were you listening to? No way, pal. Now that you've made a big fiend out of it, I'm not gonna tell you. What? We'll see about that, pal. Considering all the noise you were making while you were listening, it's pretty clear what kind of radio program it was. I'd say it was related to... Okay. <laughs> it was a scoop! <laughs> Godot has his own radio show now. That'd be great. <laughs> well, Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, that's it, pal. You got me. You sure are something. Uh. Godot has this awesome radio show where he talks about different coffee. types of coffee. <laughs> he, like, import brands and, like, goes around Europe. So, I've determined Turkish coffee sucks. You should totally go to the like, get coffee from Guam. They've got the best beans. Wow. <laughs> then how come I'm still seeing the lock? Guess I was wrong. Would you listen to a radio show about Godot describing coffee? No, because I don't like coffee as much. But if there was, like, a show of, like, somebody describing their favorite food, like, around the world, I'd be like, yeah. I'd get That's into that. That's very broad. Now, what was the idiot he was shouting when he was listening to the radio? That's it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Now, just call it eight, pal. Come on! I know you can. Ah! That's the wrong number! <laughs> Seems so obvious. I better ask him again. D don't tell me you're not through yet. <laughs> we're not. Yeah. I'm right, aren't I? You were listening to the lottery results, weren't you? You thought you'd try to win big, just like Glen Elg did. And then you die. It, it's... It's like you could see right through me! I mean... Huh? Be I've cracked him already? That's why I said it was nothing! I thought there was gonna be like two more that would appear. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like, I cracked him, and it's just like, pew, pew. That'd be funny. The radio. Why did we need to break a psych lock if we, it was so obvious? <laughs> just basically a joke. Oh. I'm usually pretty lucky, so I figured I'd give it a try. You're lucky, Mr. No. I live on instant noodles. <laughs> yeah, they're not bad. Don't diss the instant noodles. They're not healthy or, like. I eat them. But I eat them with stuff. You're talking like the 40 cent packs? Yeah. I use those. Cause, Cause I'll just, I'll take the noodles and then I'll like cook them up, but I'll make my own sauce. I won't use the MSG packet. <laughs> that's not what it is, but that's basically what it is. And then I'll like add some peas and some carrots, okay. maybe some, like it, it's good. I mean, it, yeah, but he just does the instant noodles. Right. He well, doesn't buy. Yeah. <laughs> What's with everyone in the lottery? So how'd it go? I won 50 cents. It'd be better to win nothing at all than a lousy half a buck. I was so mad. But that gives you like an entire packet of ramen. But you have to go there and use gas to go there this just to pick Gumshoe. it up. This is Gumshoe. He doesn't have a car. Then you'd have to pay to do it and that's even more. Then he walks. <laughs> In this weather? He's got yeah, I know the feeling. I bought the same kind of ticket as Mr. Elg. When they read those results out on the radio, it really gets your heart pumping. Oh boy. You know they broadcast it live when they're picking the numbers? It's intense, pal. I bet that's what Glenn was listening to on the day he was killed. Yeah. What time is it now? Uh, it's... It's just after 1.30. And are the lottery results always broadcast at the same time? Yeah. Look, I got this flyer when I bought the ticket. Cool. So we know that the murder was right about then. Yep. Millionaire radio flyer added to the court record. Millionaire Radio? That sounds cool! I want to try it, Nick! Then buy a ticket, Maya, with your own money. <laughs> Aw. Poor Maya. Doesn't make a buck. <laughs> she also doesn't really work. Yeah, but she's training. That's true. Oh, wait. That's the wrong one. Nah. Millionaire Radio Flyer. Experience the most thrilling ten minutes of your life every Monday at 1.30 p.m. Man, that's a disappointing life. The most life. thrilling <laughs> ten minutes? It takes them ten minutes to read out the number. They're like, the next As number is... is... Three... <laughs> exactly. Like, 
like, is it like the slow? <laughs> like all I can imagine. We'll be back with the other <laughs> lottery numbers after these commercials. That would be really annoying. <laughs> that would be the worst lottery ticket reading ever. It would be terrible. That wouldn't even get my heart pumping. I'd be like, okay, here's the numbers. <laughs> this guy was a real programming genius. They called him the walking computer at the place where he worked. What happens when he crashes, though? Does he just stop moving all of a sudden? Ah, uh, he wasn't a computer, Maya. <laughs> but he's a walking computer. Anyway, there's nothing between Maggie and the victim. Yeah, that's what we found out yesterday, too. No dirt. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, don't you have any information that's a bit more fun? F fun? I, uh... Oh, I know! So, have you paid a visit to where Elg worked yet? You might as well. His workplace? Where is that? A computer firm called, uh, Blue Screens Incorporated, or something like that. Sounds like a real stable job. This could be fun, Nick! Let's go! Computers aren't really my thing, Maya. We'll be fine! I know all about that high-tech stuff! I wonder about that. It's just around the corner from this joint. You should have a look! Really? A computer firm called Blue Screens Inc., huh? Convenient. It's right around the corner. Maybe he- maybe, like, in his <laughs> office, there was, like, the most- the hugest rivalry over, um, the lottery ticket, and so it's like, Who's gonna have the winning lottery?! And then, like, he's like, I can't be in the room with all these people if I win. So he, like, <laughs> runs out and he comes to this random shop. <laughs> that would be interesting. January 7th, Trabion Kitchen. Okay. Huh? Mr. Armstrong's talking to someone. Oh, look! It's her! I'll be back next month. We oui, that's your man. Yeah, I will be waiting for you. If you haven't got it by then, I'm afraid I might get a little hot around here. No, I will have everything ready. I promise. I love fire, you know. I love the way it crackles. <laughs> No, no, no! Stop it! I beg you! What, is she going to set fire to this place? Then don't let me down. I'll be watching you. No, no! This is not necessary! You can trust me, mademoiselle! Talk to anyone, and I'll have to drive a knife right through your heart. Oh, no! You do not have to worry! You know, you worry far too much! Maybe this will help you relax. It is the oil of sandalwood. I do love raw meat from time to time. <laughs> ah! Why is this li Okay, this girl, I don't know how old she is. She's just like coming into the kitchen death threatening this person. Or maybe not. Maybe they're like rival kitchen people and she just has a weird unhealthy obsession with cooking meat. Who knows? No, she, <laughs> she likes it raw, Marty. No, <laughs> no, 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 but she was like, I love fire and I love raw meat. Two and, and two together makes And that she drive a knife through his heart. <laughs> the heart of a pig! I don't know. <laughs> the heart of a pig is in his box. Oh, wait, that's the wrong voice. The, the heart, heart of, of a pig, pig is in the box. I'll be taking my leave. Goodbye. For now. That was like a great voice for her, her holy cow. Oh, I have no shivers. I must rub some of my oil all over my Ugh. body before I become don't, a nervous don't wreck. Don't strip in front of us. There, oui, 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 oui. This, that feels good. Ah! Oh la la, excuse moi, monsieur. My eyes, my eyes! Did, did he throw it in the... Uh. Your eyes, if you have trouble with your eyes, you need this, la oil of sandalwood. Isn't this just the leftovers of what you were just using? Okay, well then. Uh, I don't want to talk to him. I don't. Ugh, that that gal. She looked like she She's was Violet death from herself. the Incredibles meets Farja no. from Fire Emblem uh, Awakening. No, no, uh, but part of it is <laughs> who headbutted someone too hard. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say she reminds me of like two characters combined. She reminds me of like. Do you remember the gal? Did you ever watch Oliver the musical? Yeah. Okay, do you remember the gal that our um friend yeah. our friend's mom yeah. played? That mixed with um a character from Sailor Moon. Uh, what is it? Sailor Saturn where she's like dying or something because she's a super weak and like her head's <laughs> No, do <laughs> kill me. I'm weak. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, that's not why she's dying, but like she's very unhealthy, like 
It was her body. I don't know. Okay. Otherwise, I could also picture, like, a character from SAO. I could picture, um... Uh... The weird head bandage is what's getting me <laughs> off. Putting me off. Are we just gonna sit around here talking about how big I'm getting? <laughs> you know those muscles, though. You don't exactly have many customers, do you, Mr. Armstrong? No, you are right, monsieur, but perhaps that is the perfect time for you to visit me, no? Now I can give you my undivided attention and cook you last dish supreme. Uh... Uh, putting on a brave face, huh? That's what girls do, Nick. But you are right, business is very difficult these days. Perhaps the name is the problem, people do not understand it, they think it is Trey. I just wanted people to think that my restaurant was exclusive. But they think you just serve fast food on cheap plastic trays? Nick! That's the kind of thing that can make a girl cry! Have you forgotten that Mr. Armstrong is a man, Maya? But this restaurant is my life! It is everything to me! I will defend it to the finale! No one will take it from me! Uh, hence the weird lady just now. <laughs> so, who is that woman you were just talking to? Oh la la! You saw that! Ah, uh, well, yes. Sorry. So, who was she? She looked so polite and graceful- No! P polite graceful <laughs> And she likes raw meat and fires, right? We just saw this! Be back <laughs> next month. We just saw this! <laughs> we don't- <laughs> We don't need a flashback! Come on now! <laughs> you haven't gotten it by then. Might get a little <laughs> hot around here. <laughs> no! Why is this happening? <laughs> now that I think about it. Hey, Maya. I think it's pretty clear what kind of conversation they were having. You think so? Well, then let's show him that piece of evidence and see what happens. What do you mean, that piece of evidence? Okay, so... Oh, do you mean, I've like, got proof piece... you were trying to poison me. <laughs> oh la la! So you have eaten my lunch, oui? Tell me, monsieur, did you enjoy the lunch I prepared for you? It was a unique and wild mixture of flavors. That was the first time I've ever had lobster, you know. Lobster? There was no lobster in my lunch. Huh? But it said lobster right on your menu. Mademoiselle Maya, please, you must read la menu more carefully. It says a dish inspired by lobster and a bonnet fricassee with balsamic vinaigrette. Oh, it's inspired, is it? Oui, inspired by these ingredients, but not perhaps made from them. Uh, about? What was the crunch? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Well, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles, Nick! The way the lunch tasted, it was probably 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. Ugh. What you the what? heck did he say? <laughs> you like us? motorcycles? No? You don't like motorcycles? <laughs> What's wrong? Did somebody take your motorcycle? Like, it was my pink motorcycle! <laughs> what is it? Is this your scooter? No, no! I saw it before in Vitamin Square, you see. Mon Dieu! No, no, no! Take it away! Do not show that to me! What? Talk about an allergic reaction. I still think- He doesn't like scooters then, I guess. Ugh. How about the sports paper? You like that? This is the paper the victim brought with him. MC Bomber. Oui. Does that mean something to you? No, I only speak French, mademoiselle. And English. But we found it beside behind your magazine rack. Oh, how naughty I am! I haven't cleaned for such a long time. Ugh. You run a restaurant! That's kind <laughs> of a problem. No wonder it tastes like Hey, job listings. You need a new job, sir. <laughs> um, about this? Felicios! Mais, c'est suis c'est c'est? Uh, uh, the, the, je, je ne comprends. Nick, don't just make something up! <laughs> no habla espanol. Yo! So long as that paper exists, I am but a beautiful angel with still not broken wings. An angel, huh? Doesn't bode well when you think about it. Oui, they kept harassing me month after month. In the end, I had to give in. I agreed to help them. Help them? With what? Maybe also, if I did not owe them the money, I would have refused. But my hands were tied. Please, what did you agree to help them with? No, uh, I cannot say. If I tell you that woman, she will slice me up. And eat me with like salad garnish. Ew, I hope he doesn't mean that he'll literally be sliced up and served with garnish. 
I'm going to guess that woman has something to do with your loan contract. Am I right? What? Ah! Please, Mr. Armstrong, tell us about that woman. Or, wow. you know, tell us about, um... <laughs> how he broke the vase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is true. My vases are broken all the time. Really? I bought a new one, and the next day after the incident... But they wouldn't let me put it on the table because of the investigation. Well, that might be why you also don't have any customers if there's still an investigation <laughs> so, going on. So, do you have ketchup in here? Because I like that. About this. Felicians! I do not deserve ketchup here! That must be blood! <laughs> well, uh, you like potassium cyanide? Uh, no. <laughs> yes! I put it on all my dishes! <laughs> <laughs> nope, alright. Nothing. Talk? Let's talk about her. Oh. The woman who was here earlier, I take it that she's, um... Why has it come to this? What a tragedy. Suddenly I find myself so deep in the debt. It is a sign of the bad, bad world we live in. Oh. No, I'd say it's more of a sign of the bad, bad culinary skills. <laughs> the woman who is here, this scary woman, she is from the loan office. Loan office? Is that where you borrowed half a million dollars from? You mean loan shark? Given we, her, yeah, <laughs> we, her. tender lender it is called. Ugh. Catchy name. Just hearing it makes me want to borrow some money. Please, you must not borrow from them. If you must, no more than ten dollars. Ten dollars? Sounds like your whole monthly stipend, Maya. Hey, I get a bit more than that, thank you very much. So tender lender is the loan office you borrowed half a million from, huh? I wonder if they've got anything to do with this case. Well, tender lender. I am a weak woman. When I'm upset, <laughs> I have to buy something nice to cheer me up. Thanks to him loaning me the money, I have to pay back half a million dollars now. I am like his slave. I have to do everything that he tells me. Um, who's this he? Probably... The tiger. Well, that sounds like a Xeniope. <laughs> the tiger? We. Oui. He is the manager of the tender lender, a terrifying man, the big city mobster. When he shouts at me, my knees are trembling and his voice is ringing in my ears for three days. As soon as I hear the noise of the battle road yeah, scooter he rides, I start to cry. A big city mobster who rides a battered old scooter? Um, does this guy resemble me by any chance? Oh, no, no, no! This man is a presence, a most formidable personality. Here's the thing, though. Also, we oui, he does have <sighs> that spiky air, just like you. Yup. Oui, there is a resemblance there, I suppose. Stupid Xenio tiger. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like this loan office is worth checking out after all. Well, let's go there. If you want to visit the Tender Lender, it is just beyond Vitamin Square. Also, who names their town Vitamin Square? Not it's town, not the town, but, it's a playground. Okay, but really? Like, it's a, it's a fruit playground. You could have named it something catchier. Fruit Salad Square. Not Vitamin Square. Vitamins? Yeah, because fruits of, and veggies give yeah, you vitamins. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm imagining like, oh, we're going to the Vitamin Square Park, which means we're climbing on pills. That's what I think of. <laughs> that's that's something different. Supplement <laughs> that's Square. The, that's the Adderall Square. <laughs> that's Supplement Square. Supplement Square, that's much better. <laughs> hey, Nick, if you need money, I can loan you some as long as it's less than $3. Um, thanks for the offer. Just beyond Vitamin Square, huh? Well, that's all the time we have for today. Folks, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We'll be either be going to Tender Lender or we'll be going to Blue Screens, Inc. Oh, yeah. There's Which, that whichever place. one you want to go to first. You <gasps> I get, get to, to choose. You get to choose. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Now I know what true power feels like. <laughs>